Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to share something that might be good medicine for you to, to shoot in the arm like a shot in the arm. It should be a good word of encouragement because when we think about what everybody is afraid of, when we wonder about the leaders of this country that are coming up and we wonder where is America going to be at a year from now, you know, what condition are we going to be living in? And, you know, and the word says people's hearts are failing them for fear. And we have to remember God has a word. And when God has a word, it addresses these types of things. And it is meant to comfort us. It is meant to encourage us. And I'm going to read one of them to you right now. This word I'm reading to everyone in this country that needs a shot in the arm, that needs God to lift up your chin, to be a lifter up of your heads. Listen. And this time it's going to be quoted correctly because I'm reading. Starting at verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Selah. There is a river. The streams shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right early. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord, what desolations he has made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear asunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. <laughs> I hope that encouraged you. It encourages me every time I read it. Because no matter what goes on, God is constant. Oh, this is Pat's two cents. It is, God is constantly reminding us through his word and through his Holy Spirit that he is very much in control. The earth is the Lord's, not man's. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and everything that dwells therein. It all belongs to him, even the devil and his little imps. All of this nonsense, all of the evil, all the schemes and the games, yeah, that's man's device, but man, belongs to God and God is ultimately in control God bless you boy I hope that encourages you like it does me we are not here on our own we have help